Hi there everybody, it is Jedi Amanda here and I'm going to finally, after many years of request, but mainly because I just never really tried my alcohol makeup uh, Ahsoka tutorial, um, we're finally going to do one today. So I have caved and I have purchased new makeup for Ahsoka and it is an alcohol based makeup that you do put on with the airbrush so I want to be completely transparent with that before we start. So airbrush makeup. <laughs> if you would like a water-based um, cake makeup tutorial, I have another one of those linked right here. So this is specifically for airbrush makeup alcohol-based. I am also going to use my stencils that I made for my face. That is um, probably going to be in this tutorial too. Later on I'll show you how I made that. Um, a couple things. So the airbrush that I'm using is my favorite Neo for Iowata, regular airbrush. Uh, the paint that I'm going to be using is a mixture of the brand, um, this is just a white bottle, it's the brand uh, Tip2, it's the Dura collection, um, but I combined two. So I'm using their orange, which is, I think is 307, and their coral adjuster, which is I think 327. I'm doing a 50-50 mix of that in this bottle. So the orange actually was way too fluorescent on my very, very pale skin. And the uh, coral adjuster was a little more brown, red, orange. So I just mixed both of them and I got the perfect color. So that is the formula that I'm using for my Ahsoka. If you are curious, I will have all the links down below that you can go grab and take a look at. Um, this is an expensive way of doing Ahsoka makeup, but I've been doing Ahsoka for years and I finally just wanted to level up and so that's what I'm doing. So within this tutorial I'm sure going to show you how I cover my eyebrows with eyebrow plastic as well. A lot of you ask about that. Then we're going to do the orange and then we're going to do the white and hopefully everything's going to work out. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first things we're gonna need to lay out for the eyebrow plastic is of course our eyebrow plastic. Uh, you will need some color set powder, powder, any kind of powder. I personally prefer this because it is made for this type of thing. So some color set powder, um, a couple brushes, one for the color, uh, the powder, and one for your um, cover up to kind of just help put on, and a concealer. Um, I prefer this brand, the little spongy at the end of it. I think it's Maybelline, yeah, it's Maybelline. You can use any kind of concealer. I highly suggest concealer and not foundation because foundation is just not thick enough to uh, be able to layer on top of the eyebrows. So you will need to do, it's basically eyebrow plastic, powder, concealer, powder, concealer until it's pretty much gone. So that's what you'll need for this. Um, Let's go ahead and get into it. For how much eyebrow plastic is pretty much up to you, this is as much as I use. So I take like a little little scraper here and I just kind of go along the top and it kind of forms just a little scoop kind of like that. And then I will kind of form it into like a little uh, sausage, <laughs> I guess. And then I will directly smash it into my eyebrows, just like this. Once you have your eyebrow plastic smushed into your face, take a little spoolie brush and kind of push out the hairs like so. Make you look nice and crazy. <laughs> but like I said, you really don't need a whole lot. This stuff kind of acts like glue and it's smoother at the same time. Next eyebrow. Now the eyebrows are nice and crazy looking. Um, now we go into our layering mode of color set powder and concealer. You're gonna need a lot of powder, so be liberal. Powder level one, concealer level one. Concealer level one's put on, now powder level two. Concealer level two. <laughs> My 
my eyebrows are covered. They may look a little strange because you can pretty much see them still, but I'm going to put a light coat of foundation on before I start my layer of Ahsoka makeup. And I promise you, they will disappear right before your eyes. So when you get to the stage and you're like, they're not covered, don't freak out. Continue on with your regular makeup that you're doing and um, they will be covered. Now, if you're doing a makeup that requires like no body paint, you'll probably have to keep layering this up and mixing it with your foundation to get that perfect, completely covered look. So, but for me, this is kind of the spot where I stop. I'm going to put a light color foundation on to kind of blend it a little bit and then I'm gonna start layering the paint. So, let's move on to the paint. All right, so <clears throat> before you do alcohol-based paint, please, please prime and lotion your skin. It is very dry when you put it on. Um, I am going to, I did layer of lotion and primer, uh, specifically this primer that I really like right now, the NYX primer, Mellow Marsh, because it's nice and smooth, it keeps my skin nice and moisturized. So I'm going to put a small layer of foundation on, not heavy, because this is, you know, it's alcohol based paint. Therefore, it goes on pretty thin, so you can see some discolorations in your skin, if you have any. So, I'm just gonna nip that in the bud right now. Shake up the paints. Let's get to work. This is the orange I want for my face. And then I can do a polenta. So much. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm fine with that because I think I'm just gonna have to go in with Old Faithful. <laughs> but this isn't bad. I like it actually. For like it, a gives, quick... it gives it gives the lines mm -hmm. and it cuts out a lot of guessing time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's see if water base goes on top of alcohol. Well, so that was that first experiment. <laughs> I actually think it worked. Honestly, exactly what I thought it would. Um, this I need to refine this a little bit i might i might cut it up maybe but this did work out to get me the lines that i need and i know i'm going to refine it with some um water-based paint white um yeah so i do actually i recommend this i think it it looks pretty cool um but definitely get a buddy to do it because I couldn't really see what i was doing so i had to have a buddy to do it and it was a little nerve-wracking but i think it worked out so let's continue on and refine the white marks a little bit. And if you want to know, I am using, well, actually this has been Nye, but been Nye, Mayron, water-based palette, easy stuff. rid of the sticky tackiness that alcohol-based paint will leave behind. 
highly don't, don't forget this step or you're gonna feel like you're sticking to yourself all day in a really gross way <sighs> okay so for most people we are done um for me we are not so we have a lot of beauty makeup to put on with ahsoka that i think makes her pop so if you want to start up here you can but we're gonna keep going okay so first we're gonna start with eyes and then i'm gonna move to contouring the face and then we're gonna end with lips i am using the baby yoda palette <laughs> specifically the color droid protocol I figure it was pretty fitting don't be afraid to go crazy with her makeup here because that's really kind of what makes her paint stand out is all of the different contouring and all the colors that are on her face besides just the orange and white Then eyelashes and uh, snips does have bigger lips so do not be afraid to overline <laughs> oh and this is the color this is a Maybelline Superstay matte ink lipstick in the color protector Thing is eyelashes. Then we are wrapping it up. Snips also have pretty big eyes, although Rosario Dawson in the show, her eyes aren't as accentuated as Snips in the cartoon, so I'm kind of doing a mix of both looks, to be honest. Because I like to go a little bit ham with her makeup because that's how I am. One trick to get the lipstick to stay really well is to put powder on top of the lipstick. makeup I couple things um if you are doing airbrush makeup please try it on your face before you know con day don't just whip it out on convention day um, if you do the stencil method definitely try this out you're gonna want the stencil to lay very very close to your skin other than that it will get kind of like that faded out look but personally I kind of like the lighter white I don't like it so lacquered onto my face um, so this works for me and then I'm going over it with white uh, water base is, is to clean up some lines really good. My markings are a little off today. This one's a little further back. This one's too far forward. That's okay. So if sometimes it doesn't work out, it's okay. You know, we're not really the character because the character is fictional. Please remember that. <laughs> Other than that, enjoy some montage of all of the makeup on me right after I'm talking here. And uh, yeah, all the links below are of everything I used, all of my beauty makeup, all of the airbrush paint makeup, everything. This whole look took me, what time is it? it about an hour. So there's, there, you know, and I've done this a lot of times. So please give yourself plenty of time doing it, especially with the eyebrow coverage. Okay, I think that's it for me for my Ahsoka airbrush body paint tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please link them below or say them below. I've done this many times. I can I can answer a good amount of questions. Um, yeah, links below. Like and subscribe to my channel. 
I have a whole list on making this costume. If you're just now checking out the makeup and you want to see how I made my Mandalorian costume, please check out my Making a Soka playlist, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!